Hi children. Previously we discussed about shortest path. Shall we discuss now the shortest time? How to cross the river in the shortest time? How to cross this river in the shortest time? Here earlier the fuel was the scarcity. Now the time is important. If somebody informed you that we have a party on the other side of the bank. So the party starts at 7.30. Now already 7.50. The time is only 15 minutes. Is this time is the important factor here. Path is the, not the important factor here. How you reach the destination that is not important. But the factor of time is very important. Fine. So you have to cross this river with the help of a boat. But remember, the river is flowing from left to right with a velocity VR and you can operate the boat with any desired velocity depending upon the what the time factor now the time depends upon the velocity resultant velocity resultant velocity depends upon velocity of the boat and velocity of the river velocity of the river is not in your hands velocity of the boat is in your hands so that depending upon the time you can change the velocity of the river we can fix up the velocity of the river velocity of the boat so that the resultant of velocity of the boat and velocity of the river so increases so that the more the velocity the lesser the time because the distance is same fine to cross this river please take this time So very interesting question. It's an application of uh, the resultant velocity in vectors. We come across this. Very nice. So see the figure now. The river is flowing from left to right with a velocity v r that is fixed, and the boat. You can move the boat with a velocity of v b. Now our intention is to reach the other side of the river, not along the shortest path, but along the shortest time. Shortest time means the longest velocity. That is, the shortest time means highest velocity. Highest velocity means the velocity of the boat and velocity of the river must be added so that the velocity becomes more, so that the time will be will become short, mean minimum. So, children always you remember in this case the boat has to be rowed. straight across the river when you row the boat in the straight across the river the resultant of velocity of the boat and velocity of the river will be in the direction from a to b so boat velocity and river velocity so they so you are going to reach in this direction like this would be the actual path of the what the boat along which we are able to travel because there will be a drift for the with what the river now pushes the boat towards right so that the velocity of the boat and velocity of the river the result in velocity will be given by s p so that he is going to reach a point g down the river from the point which is exactly opposite on the other side of the river so no worry so you able to reach the other side where you need to reach i mean so the necessity for reaching the other side of the river is what b1 so you can reach the point b. in the shortest time you able to cross the river or if right so we is velocity the boat v r is velocity of the river and v is the resultant velocity of the boat and velocity of the river so if construct a triangle right angle triangle is formed abd from this right angle triangle so velocity of the boat is along ab and velocity of the river is along bd so resultant velocity will be along at right So this now AD makes an angle of alpha with the direction of what velocity the boat, and which makes an angle of what uh, that is 90 uh, minus alpha. This is 90 degrees with the direction of the velocity of the river, and uh, this is alpha. Alpha is the angle made with the resultant velocity with the vertical. Of course, here alpha is most important. Earlier case in the shortest time, in the shortest path. We have to measure the value of the angle with the direction of the river as well as with the direction 
with the vertical, with the vertical as well as with the direction of the river, we are able to find out is the shortest path. Are you understanding? Great. So the important points in the shortest time. So the most important points in the shortest time, children. See the first point. You see, boat is rowed straight across the river along A. Boat is to be rowed straight across the river. So now you see, the boat is to be rowed straight across the river. And the boat is rowing in straight across the river because of the uh, velocity of the river. The boat, the direction of the boat is now so gradually what? That is increasing. Velocity the boat and velocity of the river both are added so that uh, it will be the direction of high partners of the right triangle. So it is now taken like this. So that uh, the boat reaches the point D, the boat reaches the point D, it's down the river from the point D, this is a, where the point which is exactly opposite on the side, other side of the river. So this is called what? See, uh, downstream he has to reach, he has to, uh, that is, uh, travel a distance of x down the river. He is going to reach a point D that is down the river at a distance of what? x. The value is now taken as what? x. We can take it as x. So boat reaches the point D down the river at a distance x from it. So BD must be equals to what? x. So it must be, BD must be equals to how much? That is equals to what? x. So the resultant velocity is given by from the Pythagoras set, square of the hypotenuse equals some of the squares of the sides. Square of the hypotenuse equals some of the squares of the sides. Therefore, AD square is equal to AB square plus BD square. V square is equal to VB square plus V R square. That is the resultant velocity. Resultant velocity is increasing. Now it is increasing. So then, resultant velocity is given by. So this is the resultant velocity. V equals to under root VB square plus. That is V R square. So that means tan alpha equals to what? Vr by Vb. Vd is equal to the boat reaches the point D down the river at a distance of x from the Vd is equal to x. Resultant velocity is under root Vb square to Vr square and alpha, direction of the resultant velocity is Vr by Vb. So alpha is tan inverse Vr by Vb. In the shortest time, remember always, you should consider the slope of this line, that is tan alpha. And the shortest time t equals to how much? Children always remember here. To kind out the shortest time, you please remember, the shortest time is equals to what? The distance travel is AB. If the distance travel is AB, it what's with EB. This ratio, the distance by the speed corresponding speed, gives the value of shortest time. And if you consider this side BD, the distance travel is X with what velocity? VR. Along this line, the velocity will be VR. So the shortest time will be BD by VR, X by VR. Or you can take, if you take, consider this path AD. So this path AD can be taken as what? AB must be equal to much? That is under root VB square plus VR square. Path and the corresponding velocity along that path is to be considered to find out the shortest path. You can also write this X value. So that is, if the width of the river is S, then S square plus what? X square under root is the resultant distance. And that is what? VB square plus what we answer provided the width of the river AB is equal to what? Yes. And the VD value is equal to how much? X. And the resultant distance CD is given by how much? Under root. That is S square plus what? X square. That's why AD value is now written like this. What is this? AD. It's not AB. It's AD. So this is second application for the vectors.